Hello and welcome to the channel once again. The name is Guru Boy. So here in today's episode, I'm going to take a deep dive with you guys on how to remove unable to activate device. So this happens because you have a faulty chip, which is the baseband chip, which is being damaged. So in order to get a full access to this, you have to take your device to a hardware shop to get the baseband chip being fixed. But if you do not want to take it to a hardware shop to get this pin fixed, then you can follow along with this video tutorial and I will explain on how to get this pin bypassed and have your device been activated. So um, without wasting much time, I will switch to the desktop and I will show you the tool that we are going to use to um bypass this unable to activate device so here on our desktop just move into your browser and download the program this which i'll leave the link of this tool in this, this video description so please make sure to check this video description for the link for program Desk. so after downloading the program this into your download folder you just have to move to into your download folder so you have we have the program this been downloaded into our download folder so all we have to do now is to extract the program this onto our download folder so after extracting the program this i will move it onto my desktop then we open the program this extracted folder and launch the program this from there so if you are enjoying to this video make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new also give a like to the video if you are still watching this video so now we have our our program that's been extracted so let's move it onto our desktop so here we have it on our desktop now so we can close from our download folder and then um open the program dex folder and then run the program dex.exe file so just open program this or line the program this and when you are being prompted with this move to more options and uh, more info and run it anyway so wait for it to launch and when it do launches um we are going to take a look into the program this user interface so let's wait for so here we have the program that's been launched and here is how it been do uh do looks like so we have to connect our device to the computer so let's connect our phone to the computer by plugging in your usb to lighting cable so here we have our device being connected so just wait for broke to detect your device so here we have our our device info being displaying in displaying in the broke from this so here we have our ecid which is already being registered so if your ecid is not registered just click on register here and you'll be taken to the website of the registration panel to get your ecid registered so let's move to options and here are the bunch of options in which we can choose from um so in today's video we are just focusing on um unable to activate so here we have other options like the mdm bypass passcode bypass hello bypass so we just have to make sure we check the generate activation ticket for the unable to activate same as the hello bypass so move back and just click start click start when you just check that option now we can generate the activation ticket so you click on generate activation ticket so if you have problem with the first server check this option which allow you to generate activation ticket with the second server so let's generate activation file and when we do have problem we can try the second server or check the second server and then generate it again so here we have successfully generated the activation file for the device so here we have um folder popping up showing our generated activation file so here we we have it so we can close from the generated folder so after generating the activation just click done and program this will close and you do have to reach launch this and this feels bad for me because i have to always 
close and relearn the broker instead of moving back straight to the startup screen just like this so here if your device is not being detected you just have to unplug your device and plug it in again and when you do unplug your device and plug it in again your device should be detected in the program this again so now we just have to move to options once again and now check the jailbreak option which is the last option which only jailbreak the ios 15 to 16 devices only so just click on start and your device should shut down or turn into the recovery mode so you can see entering recovery mode so just wait for your device in to enter into recovery mode um and if it takes too long to get into recovery mode you can use the key combination to get your device into recovery mode so now we have our device in recovery mode so just use the key combination for mine i'll use the side button on the volume down after noticing the key for your device to get into dfu for the jailbreak to take place you can click on start and follow the instructions to get your device into dfu then after that we click on jailbreak to get our device being jailbroken okay now so we have our device in the dfu state so we can click on jailbreak jailbreak device and wait for our device to be jailbroken and this should take a few minutes for the jailbreak to happen and if this does not work for you you can use the usb bootable method to jailbreak your device then head back to program this to activate your device so let's wait for the device to be jailbroken and if you are enjoying this video make sure to give this video a like and we can see that the jailbreak says successfully we successfully jailbreak our device so we have to click on ok click done and the break should close and we have to relearn the program decks again and wait for the device to turn on so let's wait for the device to turn on whilst we wait for the program this to be launched so here we have our device being turned on and we have jailbroken our device so let's wait for the program this to be launched okay so now let's unplug our device from the computer and plug in the device again for broke to detect our device so here we have our device being detected so um we move to the option for the last time and when you do move to options make sure to check hello screen bypass jailbreak method so after checking that option make sure to click back and click on start and you'll be prompt to activate your device so just make sure this option is being checked then move back then click start and you will see that you have the option to activate our device click on it and wait for your device to be activated so if you are enjoying this video please make sure to subscribe like this video and give a thumbs up if you are enjoying this video um there, are, there is one option that i did not mention which is the skip setup you can make sure to check this option if you want to skip this setup procedure so if you check this option you will skip all the setup procedure so after successfully unlocking your device if you do check the skip setup your device should be on the lock screen after the reboot has been done and if you did not check this option your device will turn on onto the hello screen and you have to set up your device and this time it will not prompt you with the unable to activate message so here comes the successful message from the program they say iCloud has been successfully bypassed so now we can wait for the reboot of our device and then after the reboot we set up our device manually okay so let's wait for our device to turn on and if you are enjoying this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel also share this video so here under wi-fi when you do click on next it will prompt you to continue with our wi-fi connection click continue and this time it will not prompt us unable to activate device rather data and privacy page for us to continue and with this method do not set passcode on your device and if if you do set passcode on your device your device will get locked when you do reboot your device so do not set passcode on this bypass 
so let me fast forward the video to the home screen so i'll see you on the home screen okay so finally we have our device fully activated and we have this prompt saying data issue since you you have broken baseband you cannot have access to sim calls or anything relating to your sim card so that's it so for best performance also you can turn on flight mode on this and you can reboot your device and you will not get stuck on the hello screen again unless you do set passcode on your device so thanks for watching make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to give a like if you are enjoying this video thanks for watching make sure to subscribe peace out